I was given this video by Professor Chris Pollitt. It was made by him many years ago with his student, Tracy Soward, and it's really exceptionally interesting. It's a time-lapse video where a photograph has been taken from the front of a foal's foot from one week old every week until it's a year. So you're going to see the development of the hoof in 31 seconds of what usually takes 12 months. You're going to see a lot of things, so I'll warn you before that you will see the pigment coming into the hoof. Most foals are unpigmented at birth. You'll see the hoof expanding at the top and you'll see the line mark in the day of birth called the foal hoof crease coming down the hoof. At four and a half months that disappears. But prior to that the hoof becomes an inverted cone. Once that line gets to the bearing border you'll see the hoof start to open up in the shape that we recognise and you'll see it get an injury to its coronary band and you'll see how that grows down and breaks. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look at this video. So there comes the line and already the hoof is expanding at the top and you can see the pigmentation coming in. But notice how the pigmentation is narrower lower down and that's because the hoof is expanding, adding hoof horn and horn tubules in equal measures. Now this hoof starts to open. You saw that lesion which carries on with the crack at the bottom and now finally the hoof is taking on the shape that we might recognise as a mature horse's hoof, although it's only 12 months at the end. I really hope you enjoyed that. My thanks again to Professor Chris Pollitt and Tracy Soward for allowing me to use this and letting you see the development of the horse's hoof during its first 12 months of life. A fascinating video indeed. Thank you. Everything that you see going on in this video, you can read about in my book, The Hoof of the Horse. In fact, there are absolute whole chapters devoted to these changes that occur in the early years or the early months of a foal's life, plus an awful lot more. You can find it and my other books at curtisfarrierbooks.com or you can put questions and I'll do my best to answer them.